So if it's a little difficult to hear me, I apologize. I think I'm so oily. I think this is gonna be the first sentiment Sunday. Even though I'm recording a few days early, I just had like a, I don't know, just been very like peaceful. Like kind of happy. <laughs> like I'm not saying say like, that's where we like, am I, I'm happy, right? Like I just been cool. Like I still don't like my job, but like it's almost like it's okay. You know, like does that make sense? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just been like, okay, cool. I'm here. It is what it is. But I feel like I feel like something is gonna happen so good. I just couldn't even imagine. Like, I just feel like something about to happen. Some maybe I couldn't even think of, or maybe I have thought about it, but now it's coming to, you know, fruition. I've been catching green lights left and right. <laughs> I know that's probably basic, but like. I don't know. But besides from that happy stuff, because these people cannot drive, what is going on? What the, what is going on? Are they lost? Um, it was a question on Twitter. This girl had said, does anybody, they would be going this way. The girl was like, is anybody seriously thinking about having kids or not having kids with the present social climate that we're in? And I had already been thinking about it like, damn it, hold on y'all. I just been thinking like, would I want kids now? And I had been saying that, I said that earlier this year when me and my mom was talking about like people being pregnant because my friend was just pregnant and she had her baby. And um, I was like, I don't know how I would feel if I was pregnant right now because if I, Dominique right now was pregnant and with all of this stuff going on right now, I feel like I would stress myself out and the baby and that's never a good thing, you know? I just feel like, okay, think, not even things are dying down because it's, it's really feel like stuff getting worse in the world, if you ask me. Like, I don't even know if it's getting worse or it's just getting, emotions are getting heightened. Like, that, that was a couple of things that I wanted to touch on. I don't know if I would want, I, I'm pretty sure I want children and I don't, I want to stop saying Oh, I'm not having no kids. I ain't pushing nothing out, blah, blah, blah. Because the older I get, what I think and what I say, you know how they say the, the life and death is in the power of the tongue? I feel like some things I have spoken into my life that I didn't want because I was just playing and joking. But the subconscious doesn't know a joke from reality. So I've been trying to be more conscious about what I think and what I say to myself and what I feel to myself and even the thoughts that I put on other people, like, that wasn't good. So I've, I've just been saying, I rebuke that. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, God. Even with my struggle with faith, I still just say, you know, that wasn't right. Forgive me. But what I've really been saying is I remove those negative thoughts from my mind. I say it over and over and over again until, you know, I feel better. And I kind of like, that thought kind of dissipates. Because I really want to work on what I say to myself, you know. And the, now, people that don't believe in astrology and whatnot, and oh, it's the devil, blah, blah, blah. That's your opinion. I ain't got nothing to do with your opinion. Now, I was looking up the Sharon, the, the Chiron, Chiron chart or whatever, and I did the calculations and what whatnot. And um, basically, it said my issue or my healing would be trouble getting pregnant. So when I seen that, I said, wow. 
I, I hope I have not spoken that into my life. Because when I want to have kids, I want to have them. I don't want to struggle. But at the same time, it's some type of like, not peace, but like, it'll be okay. Because I got options. You know, I will get a surrogate. Anywho, people in they driving. That's what I really want to hit on. People drive the way they feel. So if they are pissed off, they driving is so horrible. If they happy, they be all cal calm and cool and they just, you know, chilling and whatnot. And they ain't really like, what you rushing for? You know, like that. Have you ever caught yourself be like, I don't know what you rushing for. Because you got plenty of time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got plenty of time. So you ain't worried about if somebody else get to work on time. It's all about you. But when you rushing to work, you like, come on, stupid, blah, blah, blah. I know I do. I have horrible road rage. Horrible. And I have been trying. Now, let my mama ride with me because I'm so much of, forget me. I don't want nothing to happen to her. So if you hit me and she hurt, I feel like we got to fight. Like, something. Something got to, you have got to cut the check. You know what I'm saying? You got to cut the check. You. So, yeah. That's how I feel about people. They driving is so horrible. I feel like after um, the the home staying pandemic part of this whole shabaku was over and people were going out more, cause I had to work regardless. And you can tell like more and more people are coming out, more and more people are going to work. So it's like, they're upset that they have to go back to work. If you follow me on Instagram, which I hope you do, you've seen that I stated that, like, people driving has gotten worse. They are irritated, they broke, they stressed out, they kids working on their nerves, they kids are too good, but maybe they feel like they can't do more for their good kids, they can't pay for college, they feeling bad. I wish I hadn't went to college, got a better job, maybe I could send my kid off. And the people that went to college, like, damn, what, what did I even go to college for? You know, I can't get my foot in the door, I gotta work this job, I hate this job, I hate my apartment, my neighbors are loud. They dog always crapping on my porch. Like, you know, it's always like oh, the trash man, they pick up my trash, <laughs> but I pay my bill. You know, it's stuff like that that can just heighten people. And I feel like they taking it out on their driving. There is no need for you to do 100 miles per hour. Try to do 100 miles per hour at 5 o'clock in 5 o'clock traffic. There is no need for you to be driving on the shoulder so you can get around everybody else there is no need for that young man or, or that man i don't know if he was young but whoever it was just an incident where these two individuals got into it or something and they really think that it was over a parking spot and one of them men died like the police came onto the scene and he had a gunshot wound and he died like on the scene or on the way to the hospital or something like that over a parking spot really that's sick that's that is so sick it be to the point where i don't want to drive no more you know i try to avoid congested areas at all costs especially because this ain't my car this a rental car i don't want to be responsible for two vehicles like i really don't i try to avoid congested areas everywhere even if i'm going to like Walmart. If you're from, you know, St. Louis, you'd be like, oh, we going to Ghetto Mart? Ew. Getting in and out of Ghetto Mart is so bad. The the Walmart uh, on West Florida, it is so freaking bad. It's so annoying. I avoid that Walmart at all costs. Okay? I hate it. And I guess this is the end of Sentiment Sunday.